Hi, you're watching Patadendron. In today's video, I went on a road trip and visited one of my favorite nurseries. I'm back at Succulent Mario. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm Patrick and I love plants. And if you do too, you should definitely hit that subscribe button because I love going on these planty adventures and taking you along with. And if that sounds like something that could be fun for you, then you should definitely hit that subscribe button. Today happens to be one of those planty adventures and I went on a small road trip. I figured it's time I visit one of my favorite nurseries that I haven't visited in a while and that's Succulent Mario. I was looking and the last time I visited here was just over a year ago. I can't believe it. So I can't wait to check things out. It's good to be back. Let's check out all the plants. Ah, it's so good to be back. It's been way too long, but I'm excited. There seems to be some really cool plants. Lots of Hoyas. And they're right here by the entrance, so it's a good place to start, I guess. Some Hoya Numularioides. These are 35. I don't have this one yet. Hoya Cinnamomifolia. This one's 35. I have a f oh no. I was going to say I have a few Hoyas that look like that, but these leaves are a lot thinner. Ooh. Hoya Wilbur Graves. For 45, that's good, and that's plenty splashy, I guess. Let's see what that new leaf looks like. Too early to tell. That's a possibility. It's a good price too, I mean. I consider that to be somewhat of a low risk. As far as it like reverting or not being splashy enough to my liking. Hoya melliflua for 35. Hoya imbricata, that's a good price for 35. I've only seen it for like a hundred bucks or so and mounted. And I think that is all of that. I think we covered everything on this little palette. Little, is that like a begonia growing out of Hoya matilde? These are 15. There is, there are a lot. Some four inch Hoya Curtisii, Curtisii for $10 each. And Monster Silta Picana for 14. Hoya Croniana is 12 and Discidia Embricata for 18. That's cool. I don't see a lot of Discidia Embricatas. Ooh, Hoya Croniana Splash for 35. I wonder if they still have the Super Silvers. They posted Hoya Croniana Super Silvers in their story, I think maybe a couple days ago, so it might be sold out already, but. Hoya Pubicalix, Royal Hawaiian Purple. These are 12. The Variegated Hoya Waietii. These are 18. I don't really see these. So this is kind of cool. And Hoya Latifolia, also 18. 
Sequoia Acuta for 35 and some Obovadas. This is a variegated Obovada. Oh, it's too bad it reverted. And let's see. More Pubicalyx. And tons of Hoya Curiae. There's the outer variegated Hoya Curiae for 22 and the green one for 15. Variegated string of hearts for 45. Regular string of hearts for 15. Whoa, these are good. These are eight inch full pots of variegated string of pearls for 38. The house plants look so beautiful, but so do the succulents. So I'm excited to go over these. Ooh, variegated million hearts Discidia for 15. And then there's the regular one for 12. Lithops for $5 each. These are nice and big. Oh, now let's check out some cute succulents. There's the pink champagne. So cute. And then I love these, the Pachyphytum Frevel. Frevel. Loving those colors. And the Sedum Clavatum. These cute. They look so plump and juicy. And this Echeveria is really pretty too. I don't know what it's called, but I love how it looks like there are like little raindrops on the leaves. Some Grenovia Pink and Maple. These are so cute. They look like little cabbage roses, <laughs> but they have a really cool growth pattern too. Like I love the little babies. Some Euphorbia obesas for 18. Semingia bolata, really cool, super easy. Flowering caduciform, I really like Semingias a lot. How cute, interesting. Bawea volubilis, and it grows into this. These are little baby Dioscoria elephantipes, and these are cool. They'll grow into this eventually. I make that sound like it'll take um, a few years, but it'll take a lot longer than that. Like maybe 50 or 100 even, or more. I don't know. Ah, I'm having a lot of fun. It's really hot though, so be glad that you don't have to feel that heat. <laughs> but I hope you're enjoying so far. Cotyledon Arbiculata. These are cute. These are $10 each. Kalanchoe Rhombopelosa. Remember, these are toxic to cats, to your pets. But I keep my succulents outside anyways, and my, my cats never go outside. <laughs> Adromiscus Marianne Shepherd. This is really cool looking. All of these kind of mixed succulents are $1.25 each. These are, I think these are all $3. Some are really cute. That one. Ooh, an Aeonium Mardi Gras. That's a good one. Yeah, there's some gems in here. If you're into succulents. Oh, 
there's so many more succulents, but there is this other table of houseplants and you guys have to see this. I love when new plants hit family owned nurseries because that just means plants are becoming more available. It's a good thing for us. ZZ Supernova. So this is similar to the Raven, but the leaves are just a dark purple. They're really close. The, the difference is almost really hard to tell. I don't even know if I'd be able to tell if I had them side by side, but I'm kind of willing to purchase one just to see. How cool. I think these are philodendron Florida greens. Just Florida. <laughs> and these are 25. And how I can tell is that um, I can see that it has the bumpy kind of reddish petiole. And it gets that from the squamiferum parentage. So that is like that is what I deduce <laughs> this to be a philodendron Florida. Cause if I just check the tag, it just says trending foliage, philodendron. Ficus Audrey for 38. This is nice and robust feeling. <laughs> string of turtles for 22. These string of turtles look really good. And Hoya Australis Lisa for 22 also. I like the idea of them in a hanging basket like this because then it can just use these um, hanging things as a trellis, as a built-in trellis. And some Discidia. I'm just drawing a blank on what Discidia it is. <laughs> but look, there's a six inch hanging pot of the variegated Hoya Wyetii. $35 for that. Nice. Some juicy, drool worthy string of pearls. And the key to keeping them this happy, like this, thick and juicy is to not let them get too thirsty. So it's kind of hard. It's like finding that fine balance of constantly watered, but not, not wet all the time. <laughs> I'll let you know if I ever figure that one out. My string of pearls are long. They're old and long, but they're also sh like shriveled up. <laughs> they still flower though. This is cool. Philodendron heteraceum staked up. So it'll grow nice and big leaves. It's actually kind of tempting. I never see it sold like this. Hmm. Some Peperomia polybotria. These are great. These are nice kind of juicy succulent versions of the philodendron heteraceums. They blend right in together. Oh, and Pilea peperomioides for 15. But check this out. Look at this big ass trap. <laughs> for $38, that is a nice big watermelon peperomia. Ooh, if I didn't know what I know about you, <laughs> I might be taking you home. Try to scan Tiananuk. I love how compact it's growing. That's when you know it's getting ample light. It's not leggy and stretching for the sun, you know? And four inch variegated string of hearts for 25 little Silver Glory. I wonder how much that one is. And the four inch Nanooks are nine. 
This is a pretty Calicia. Love these. Tenanti Bromark is one of my favorite prayer plants. My favorite prayer plant that isn't Amaranta. <laughs> These are, let's see. These are 18. These are fun. The sensitive plant. And they're $7 each. These are cool. The sensitive plant. They are $7 each. Descidia oviantha for 15 and oh, variegata. Then there's the regs for 12. Alocasia black velvet. Love the black velvet. These are 15 each. Highly recommend. This is a good one if you kind of want to branch out from the poly. It's super easy and super beautiful. Traps, traps, traps. Pretty little trap. I always love these, the piccolo banda. I have been hurt by one already. <laughs> and I keep coming back. I think about it and I don't come back actually. <laughs> okay, back to the super cute succulents. There's so many, like these, the Monanthus polyphylla. So interesting looking. Isn't that kind of like fantastical looking? Like this one right here, very Dr. Seussy. <laughs> these are $16 each. Oh, here, here's like the grand castle of all of the Monanthus polyphyllas. Adromiscus cooperi ver, ver, uh, festivus. Ooh, pretty. Echeveria berserk. Variegated. These are 38. Crassula barkelli. 1250. Crassula deceptor. 15, these are cool. Crassula Deceptor for 15. These are super cool. Oh, and I love these. Crassula Fantasy Variegated. So they're like variegated string of buttons. Oh, so cute. Echeveria Compton Carousel for 35. And Echeveria Bubblegum. All these names are so cute. It makes me want to buy them even more. <laughs> it's working. These are 18. Some Echeveria Rainbow for 18. And Aeonium Medusa for 45. I wonder what the difference is between the Medusa and the Mardi Gras, though. Because the Medusa is always priced considerably higher than the Mardi Gras. But I do see the Mardi Gras so much more in, like big box stores too, so I just want to know the difference in look. Echeveria Lowy for 18. Oh, I love this one. This is the Echeveria Rose Rainbow. This one's 50. Oh, and this one's really, really cool. This one's the Echeveria Dragonfin. Never heard of that. These are 50. Echeveria Winter Sunset. So pretty. Ooh, this is a really bright and vibrant. Echeveria Shaviana Marginata 
for 38. Wow. Echeveria Flying Cloud. I love the variegation in this and then the hot pink kind of really bright edges to it. That's super pretty. I'm gonna have a hard time deciding. <laughs> I'm liking a lot of plants. Ooh. Cotyledon undulata variegated. Echeveria barren bold. Oh, there's one Echeveria Beyonce here. This is my, still one of my favorites, if not my favorite. But I think I might have a new favorite because this dragon fin is so cool. They have booby cactus for 32. Whoa, this is really good. Um, these are pretty tall. The Euphorbia Amac Variegata for $18. Some monkey tail cactus for 28. I love the monkey tail. It's one of my favorite trailing cactus. If not my favorite, love it. And there's all kinds of cacti. They all range. I think these are all $6. Oh yeah, $6 on this table. these. Wow, look at all the blooms. It's so pretty. I love that shade of pink too. So cute. Cacti blooms are just so satisfying, especially when you feel like you did that. <laughs> it really doesn't take much to make a cactus bloom either. So it's kind of a false sense of accomplishment, but Whatever. <laughs> Whoa. I wonder what kind of philodendrons these are. These like, what? <laughs> I just heard a horse, y'all. Um, that surprised me. Anyways, what kind of philodendron is this? Is this the, um, if I were to guess, the Arubicence? Really pretty. These huge philodendrons are 95. Here's a a medium one for 65, growing on a stake. And these just look so cool and jungly. I love it. More of the $95 ones. Whoa, this is like a little gem. The Philodendron Linamii for $300. The new leaves on these are just so beautiful. It's like this vibrant pink, and then it hardens off into this green. Yeah, I feel like this plant really doesn't get a lot of attention. Mainly, I think because of its price, it is very expensive. I've seen this go for like 400, all the way up to 600 even, so. It's never enough to like make me want one. <laughs> Whoa, I love this marble queen with lots of green in it. I think it just looks a lot cooler than having it be splashy all the way around. Whoa. This is really pretty too. What is this? Why is it so yellow and green? This is not normal uh, Snow Queen behavior. <sighs> I promise that's not a sound bite. <laughs> I'm not adding that horse. <laughs> He's somewhere around here. This is really cool though, I'm liking this yellow-green variegation, mutation. Philodendron Brazils. Gotta show some Philodendron Brazil some love. These are um, $16. And the Philodendron, oh no, the Neon Pothos is 15. 
I love how easy the neon pothos is. I always love um, when they let us in to the back and check out what they have growing. It's always exciting. Look at all these string of hearts, silver glories, all the way down. And then on this side, it's all the variegated string of hearts. All the way down. <laughs> It's always fun to see what kind of hoyas they have growing too. Ooh, hoya fichii. Some variegated hoya obovada. Ooh, I see a, I think this is a globulosa. It is. Ooh. Some sigillatus. Ooh, are these um, Latifolia Snow Queens? Very cool. And I'm liking the veininess of the Hoya Fichii. All the Stefanias. Oh no. I don't think so. I think these are Stefania's. <laughs> totally. Love these leaves, they're so cute. Ooh, some more um, Hoya Obovada Variegata. I'd love a Variegata Splash Obovada. Obovada Inner Variegated Splash. <laughs> that is on my Hoya wish. Ooh, the greenhouse within a greenhouse. There's some goodies in here. I see some Monstera Albos. Ooh. Is that a Red Anderson? Wow. Phew, that was a lot of fun. That was really cool. I saw some plants that I've never seen before, and I even fell in love with one that I just could not leave without. So, I got this, the Echeveria Dragonfin. <sighs> I'm so excited. So cute. Can't wait to add this to my Echeveria collection. Yeah, nice hot day. Now it's time for me to go enjoy the pool, have some drinks, stare at my Echeveria. <laughs> I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Please throw me a bone and give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of my plant videos, come plant shopping with me. Hit that subscribe button. I can't wait to see you in the next video. I just don't wanna miss you too much. So if you could show me some love in the comments and I'll meet you there. Bye.